What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, I'm going to talk about three tips to cure lag from particular apps on your Samsung phone. So if you notice that one particular app is lagging or causing some problems, there's quite a few things that you can do to troubleshoot that. And I talk about some of them in the comments, but then some people usually ask how to do those things like clearing the cache or turning off animations, um, all these things that you can do to troubleshoot lag on your Samsung device. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do those today. Before we get started, I wanna remind you guys, if you are gonna be ordering a Samsung device from the Galaxy Unpacked event in July, Z Fold Flip, uh, Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, and Galaxy Watch 6, uh, 6 Pro, I am doing mystery boxes for those where you get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop stand, 100% free, I cover shipping, just choose the device, add it to cart. The only requirement at launch is that you use my Samsung link to order. That's how we fund these is by using our affiliate revenue. Uh, you can see the terms and conditions is really nothing other than I'm gonna send out the link. You click it, you use it, we send you out the box. Sign up, check it out. We're always happy to give back community. We've done a ton of these for the S23 Ultra. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, and then also, if you guys haven't yet signed up for our community rewards program, we're also doing a rewards program where everybody wins a guaranteed gift of at least $25 each month up to 150 people. So I don't know if it'll still be open by the time I post this video. Uh, there was like 60 slots remaining when I first shot this video. So you can check. Um, the form will close as soon as it fills up with 150 people that have claimed the gift. So you can check out those in the description. Always happy to give back to the community. So let's talk about these tips. If you have laggy apps on your Galaxy phone, there's a couple of things that you can do. One of those things that you can do is clearing the cache of an individual app. And I talk about this a lot in the comments section when people talk or ask me about issues that they're having and what I recommend that they do to troubleshoot. One of the things I usually ask them to try to do is to clear the cache. Now you can clear the cache partition on your entire phone on a Samsung device, just like you can any Android device. And I have made a video talking about how to do that and I'll drop the link below. That is a separate step, which is in um, the power off menu and you gotta go through turning the phone off and everything. But you can separately clear the app cache for each individual app by going to settings and going to apps. So if you have an app that's causing a particular problem, like let's say that the Expert Raw app was causing a problem, I can go into Expert Raw, I can go into storage, and then I can go right here and clear the cache. You can actually see that there's 377 kilobytes only cached inside Expert Raw. So clearing it probably wouldn't do too much good. Um, I'm not really having an issue, so I'm not gonna do it now, but clearing the cache will not delete the data. So you can see that I have a little bit of data stored in here. That's separate from clearing the cache. So clearing the cache will just clear some of those files that are launched automatically on boot up. Now you might have some apps where there's a large cache. So for instance, a very common culprit, even though it's not really a problem, but one app where you probably would have a large cache would be something like Spotify. If you go into the storage, I have 572 megabytes of cached files here and 1.78 gigs of actual data. Sometimes music apps can end up having lag if you have a really large cache file set uh, like YouTube Music or Spotify, so you might wanna clear it. And there's other apps like this, like games, if they're lagging or causing other issues on your phone, you might wanna go in and try to clear the cache to try to clear up some of those issues. And that's certainly something I recommend trying. The next thing you can do if you're having an issue with particular apps lagging or crashing is you could try to reduce or turn off the animations on your Samsung phone. Now you can turn off the animations entirely by going into the accessibility settings. And if you go into the accessibility settings, go to visibility enhancements, you can go down here and go to remove animations. You can turn these off entirely from here. What I usually prefer or recommend people do instead of turning them off entirely to start with is to actually try to turn the animation slightly down so that they are not quite as dramatic. That could cause some issues with issues with video rendering type apps or games. Um, and also sometimes the Samsung gallery has been known to have bugs where if you turn off the animations or reduce them, it would fix the app crashing issue. Um, to do that, you would go into developer options uh, and then find the animation scale. So you can actually search in developer options for animation scale inside developer options. There's three of them right here. And uh, if you find one of them, they're all together. So you can see window animation, transition animation, and animator duration. 
uh, you can turn all these down to 0.5 and then it won't remove the animations entirely, but it will make them half speed. So basically they won't be nearly as long. Um, that can cause some, or cause a little bit of jarring in terms of using it at the beginning, but it certainly will make your phone seem a little bit snappier and it can fix some issues with apps lagging or crashing, things like that. The last one is if you're having a general lag issue and you can't figure out where the issue is coming from, the best thing to do is look through the apps that you don't use and just delete all of those first. Because if it's an app that you don't use and it's causing some background issues, you might as well get rid of everything you don't care about first, and then you can try turning off apps that you do use. So to do that, what you can do is go into the Samsung My Files app, the one that comes with your device, go into My Files, and once you go to My Files, go down to Analyze Storage. Under the Analyze Storage option, if you scroll down, you'll find Unused Applications. And so you can see I've actually got quite a few I haven't used in a while. Some of them are games I've installed for my son. Some of them are just Samsung apps where I don't have to edit the settings, even though I do use these like Sound Assistant and stuff. I don't actually open them that much, even though I use the applications to change the settings of my camera, for instance, like Camera Assistant. Some of those apps I wouldn't want to get rid of. But something like DinoGuard, that's an app that I don't really use, that I play with my son on occasion. I might want to delete that because I don't use it very often. And you could delete apps that you don't use, especially games, to see if they could be causing any background issues. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just three tips that I give a lot in the comments that hopefully will help you guys out if you're having lag issues or crash issues on your phone. Again, if you're gonna be ordering something from the Samsung Unpacked event, check out the mystery box pre-orders below. Get a guaranteed mystery box from me. I cover the shipping and everything. All you gotta do is use my link to order your device or watch. Also the community rewards program if it's open. That's just a way to give back to the community for you guys watching, commenting on the videos. Like, comment, subscribe to the notification icon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.